So you guys remember this whole thing and that big span of roof but what you haven't seen yet is that it's fully enclosed and it has a really awesome hangar door on it. There were a lot of you that were saying, well, why wouldn't you put this Connex box over here and then you'd have space for storage up top? It's because this was always the plan. That is a good idea. If you want storage on the inside, you can gain, you'd gain about like that triangle of storage. Um, but he has a Connex box for storage an apartment over there, and then this huge hangar door right here, which is, I mean, it's awesome. And then if we spin around to the front, they went ahead and put in a man door here, and then along the back, it's transparent window glass. Um, it's not glass, it's the actual plastic Lexan. And then up top as well, they've got it with a ventilation fan. But it's nice and toasty in here. Um, it's, I, I thought it would be a little cooler, but it's blocking all the, all the weather. Now, it just looks so cool <laughs> so neat okay let me back up a little further give you another view and i'm just gonna roll this video out so this is a diamond door you can go to diamonddoors.com and get them and uh the door came just as a frame and then everything was applied to it the steel guys came out and fit uh, the steel building engineer guys fit the the rest of it up there now i was considering doing this um, but I elected not to as um, I am more proficient in other things and so uh, it would have not been the best use of my time I would have made less money per hour and so I let someone else build the rest of this but anyway really really cool stuff so this is a latch you can see like it's a pretty serious latch mechanism all stick welded significant beams here so a lot of structure there's no chance of this thing having any deflection now we went through a tornado last year and um this held up just fine the tornado did not hit this structure but it hit another structure down the road so we're going to have bill pull this out and then we're going to show you how this operates basically what it is is there are anchor points up top there's winch cable coming down and it rolls on this pipe and there's a motor right there and that actuates it and just drops it down via gravity and once it's in place you just hit the latches so we'll show you that in a minute we just carried this stove in he picked it up from one of the neighbors it's a nice little steel stove i really really like it well built uh where's it going bill probably here against the back wall i'm gonna have a workbench and toolboxes on one side another workbench on the other and I'll have it pulled out a little ways and we've got to do some foam insulation on the wall. While we're waiting for the house to be built, you got a 50 amp RV hookup right there, washers and dryers, outdoor sink, all your electrical is now run all the way across the building, an exhaust fan up here for welding or ventilation, the cars are out here. And that's one of Bill's next projects right there is the bus. He's got a 5.9 Cummins in it and um, that was a swap he just had done just got it back it's kind of a mid-sized bus with a long rear end i like it a lot but you can see the lakes right here and then on this side we go over to the the pad it's a long project guys if you want to go back and see the rest of this project you know mini split install the electrical just like all the various things that we did um feel free to check it out thinking about on this side coming in where all this water is and putting in a weir to allow it to collect sediment so the sediment ends up staying here as opposed to going in the frontage of the lake say hi wave say hi youtube hi youtube <laughs> say hi so when you roll it up all the way wow you got a nice awning Wow, seven foot. That's really nice. All right, let her down, Bill. <laughs> Never the word you want to hear. Uh oh. <laughs> dog come here leo <laughs> the dog set off the safety switch good boy good boy leo <laughs> good boy well now you guys know it has a safety and i know someone's going to want to see the door mechanism that's why i'm just kind of like letting it letting it flow out so there you go guys, seals up nice, no leaks. And then you got all the light you want coming in through the uh, panels up top. 
and just a cool building. All right, so in through the man door, and now you can see what do we got? So yeah, 230 volt. There's a lock with a dead man on it. So. Okay, yeah, show me, show me the locking mechanism. The locking mechanism will pull it, the door up tight. The motor spins and it turns this pipe right here. The cable threads on the pipe and it has one, two, three, four cables on it. And as that cable threads, you need it to push the wall out. So it has a standoff right there and it pushes the hinge section out and splits it. And then as soon as all the weight's on this, it just continues on with it. Bill, will you open it from the inside now? Sure. Watch the uh, safety. Bill, what's the what's the height to where it stops? Do you know? Where is 14 feet? 14 feet to the edge right there. Okay, that's perfect. So no problem getting the bus in here or oh, no problem getting an the airplane. Bus well, there you go, guys. If you have any questions about this build or anything you see in it, feel free to shoot me an email at thegoodland22 at gmail.com. I'll leave a link in the description where you can uh, get my email address, and I'd be more than happy to walk you through everything that was done on this project. Um, Bill, he's an engineer, so he thinks outside the box. And that's one of the things that makes him so cool. And that's, uh, he's got a cool little project here. So soon he'll be building his house. That's going to be even cooler. But we'll see you guys later. I'll put a link in the description to the build of this particular spot where we took the VMAC out, welded everything up. Go check that out too.